that have this electric regulation treatment, they used it in a pilot project treating cooling tower wastewater. So he said, it's very interesting. I think you should give these guys a call. And I thought, well, that's interesting. And not only did I see it on the computer, this gal. So I looked for a few more days, didn't find anything. So I simply gave them a call and said, I'm really skeptical, <laughs> bear with me. But if you're willing to meet with me and I'm going to bring my poop water to you and I want to see what your wonderful Wazoo electrocoagulation treatment can do. And they didn't blink. They said, sure, let's meet up. We know the people at Red Rocks Community College. They'll allow us to use their lab. So I went up and did it and I was blown away. I, how simple it was and how incredibly effective it was. Yeah, as actually right now, they're up there doing a one of the final treatments on treated water there to try to get to finish up our demonstration report for CDPHE. So they're up there right now. Good luck, guys. So real quick, you mentioned the demonstration report. So what, so this is not used anywhere in Colorado. Where is it used? How does it come to Colorado? So electrical agulation actually has been around for a long time. I think it was invented probably at the turn of the century. Scott Powell has probably been on the forefront since the mid 80s of trying to refine this process to make it an actual sustainable. The problem is, what do you use that doesn't burn up right away? That So he's lived for decades been in, and refining this process. Most of his business is in the oil and uh, mining industry where they use these this treatment method to basically clean up uh, basically the mining water that's used to pull out the arsenic and all the nasty metals in that. And in the oil, they use it to treat frac water and other stuff. So it's designed to take care of the worst of the worst. And actually one of the challenges of wastewater is it isn't dirty enough. So it's we not, have to change the parameters a little bit to make it more sensitive to, to make it. Easier. It's not so dirty enough, has, meaning when, when it's treated, I mean, just so people understand when the water is coming out of the wastewater treatment plant, even if you're not meeting limits, it looks the same as the water in your bottle. Right, exactly. It's amazing. <laughs> like I said, you have to see it to believe it. So they have in the early 2000s, they did a push to try to get into the wastewater industry with this. They tried to see PHE and did some initial contact and kind of realized that Colorado is one of the more difficult states to get new technology approved. So they went to Oklahoma. One of the guys is a PE in Oklahoma, and they got one approved in a little town called Hydro, Oklahoma, over by Oklahoma City. They put it in about, it'll be 10 years ago now. So the fun, the good thing is that we have some, some actual real data to work with. Has this worked here? Has it been effective? What has been the issues? The positive thing about that is that CDPH has allowed us to essentially use that as kind of a pilot project so that they're not requiring us to put in a one or two year pilot project here, but allowing us to do a pretty thorough demonstration report of how we've taken our water, what we're doing, what kind of consistency are we getting, what kind of levels are we reaching consistently. So we are just, just about have that wrapped up. So we've been working on it a little over a year and are very excited and hoping for really good results from this testing that we're doing today. That's awesome. So you're able to take, you're able to take, instead of doing, sending it to, creating your own little pilot study in your place or sending it to a lab in Canada mm -hmm. and doing a one to 100 scale or something like that effect, you're able to go look at a real world application, similar customer base, similar wastewater characteristics, and just use their data kind of as a little cheat sheet almost to know right. how it's going to work. Right. And we've been very grateful with CPHE to actually at least look at that. They were a little resistant and I understand, but once we did the characteristics of their wastewater coming in 
almost the same exact thing. It's a retirement community, almost the same exact size, very little commercial. So uh, I think we had a good argument to say that this is a very accurate side by side. We might be a little higher and a little colder, but not by much. It wasn't making that much of an impact. So sweet. That's really, really neat. I will be watching and waiting to see. I think many people, I hear a lot of people talking about this project and they're very interested to see which way it's going to go. Cause I think there's a lot of disadvantaged, smaller rural towns that have these lagoon systems that are looking for alternatives and they're in the same situation you are. Exactly.